After Helsinki, do you think that the American people deserve to know what's in President Trump's tax returns and business interests that, that are intertwined with Russia? Senator, I'm going to try to stay out of the uh, same uh, political circus that you and I ended up in last time I was sitting here and simply respond by saying uh, this same president with which you seem to express such deep concern is engaged in a massive defense buildup, which threatens Vladimir Putin's regime. He instructed us to put together a nuclear posture review that has set Vladimir Putin on his ear because of its robustness and the recapitalization of our nuclear program. He's kicked out 60 spies. We've banned Kaspersky. Yeah, we put $11 billion in the Sec European Mr. Defense Secretary, Initiative. Secretary, you've already No, Senator, said actually, that. I haven't even begun to scratch No, 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 surface. but you've already... You haven't answered my question, so let me try it a little different way. Wouldn't you want to know, as Secretary of State, I mean, I, I'm taking you in your sincerity here as Secretary of State, whether all these Russian financial interests, oligarchs, and others are part of the decision-making of the president. I mean, wouldn't you want that out in the open and to understand what went on at Helsinki? It sits an easy kind of yes or no question. Senator, I don't need second-hand understandings of what President Trump is instructing his administration to do to push back against Russia. I have first-hand understandings well, well, and, uh, and directives. Well, let and me I'll ask just, the question we, a little we, bit we, We've opposed here. Nord Stream 2. We've got a 4 by 30 out of NATO that, that also is a big setback for Russia. I mean, I, I'm happy to continue the list. I'm, I'm happy yeah, uh, to, well, to cease there, but I, I, will, I will submit the entirety of this administration's actions against Russia for Please. the record, if I might. Please do. We'll back a truck up and get it on in here.